a new proposal to help develop the Green Bay public market. I'm your Green Bay neighborhood reporter Andrew Amuzu with details on the new agreements and how it will impact local businesses. So we are headed to the official store of Life Love Incorporated. Eric Brundage owns this small fashion business, Life Love Incorporated, across the street from where the Green Bay Public Market will be. Just be great, be phenomenal, like be the best version of yourself that you can be. The city expects the market to bring millions of customers each year, generating $65 million in economic impact across downtown and the city. So in my mind, this is a challenge that we all can courageously attack. And um, I think that we'll all be very, very uh, satisfied with the end result because of the work that we're all putting in. On Tuesday, the Redevelopment Authority approved a proposal to create a tax incremental district, or TID, solely for the market. The proposal also states the project would include more than $3 million in incentives, $1 million coming from the Wisconsin Trust Fund, and a little more than $2 million from the project tax credits on a pay-as-you-go basis. Those funds would help pay off construction and other maintenance costs over 27 years. I just I feel like we're in a much better spot than than some other communities that have um, that have invested a lot, a lot of public money. Garrett Bader is the board member for On Broadway Inc., the group behind the project. He says Tuesday's approval pushes estimated funding to $10 million of their $12.5 million goal. Many people believe in us that this will be a huge. Uh, catalyst project, the types of which we've not seen downtown in several decades. The funding proposal will now go to the city council for approval, and Bader hopes the market is able to open by spring of 2025. In Green Bay, Andrew Amuzu, NBC 26.